Fun to follow you. <laughs> Today, I'll be making apple yogurt cake. So let's get started. For the ingredients, I have about 170 grams of butter, 80 grams of margarine. So mix these two. Into this bowl, I'm going to add 200 grams of fine sugar or caster sugar. This is to be cream. 315 grams of flour. To the flour, I'll be adding quarter teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda and one teaspoon of baking powder this is to be sifted I need a 120 ml or one tub small tub of natural yogurt and I need about 300 grams of um, egg so this is a D egg grade D and I'm putting in seven of these eggs. For apples, I have a mixture of red and green and I have about six apples, four to be diced, two for decoration. To cook the apples, I also need about 50 grams of sultanas and half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. So let's cut the apples first. Peel away the skin, cut into cubes and uh, I need to soften these four apples. The red one I will use for decoration, decorating the, the cake. As for the egg, this is to be um, at room temperature. I have cubed up all these apples and I soak it in salt water. This is a little bit of salt in the water so that it don't turn uh, brown, it don't oxidize. So I'm gonna move these apples into the pan before I switch on the heat. What I need to do is just soften the apples. There's no sugar to cook. And just turn on the heat. Cover it for a while, a medium high. The juice from the apple will be, um, will be oozing out when it's hot. Once you notice water coming out of the apples, you add in the sultanas so that the sultanas will pop up Again, lower the heat and let it simmer for about two, three minutes. Two minutes is up. The heat is off. The water has also evaporated and dried up. Apples is uh, slightly soft. So I'm going to add in the cinnamon powder, half teaspoon, and mix it well. Mixing well, you dish out and uh, set it aside and let it cool. So it's gonna look like this. While waiting for the apples to cool down, we will cream the butter and the sugar. We cream until it's light and fluffy. Go on low speed for us. Going on speed two. I have increased the speed to three after creaming uh, on a low speed for about two minutes. So I'm going to cream this until it's fluffy. I already uh, creamed for about five, five to six minutes, and it's in this texture that I'll be adding the eggs one by one. I'm slowly mixing. Speed one. I've increased to speed two. After dropping, let the egg mix well before you add the next one. If you are using grade B eggs, you only need about 5. 
So let it、uh, cream for about three minutes. The egg and the butter mixture has kind of、uh, separate. So I'm gonna add in. I've actually added four teaspoon. So I'm adding in another two more teaspoon. Big heap like that, and slowly mix in the flour. To get back the smooth consistency, then I start adding in the flour first, four teaspoon. So I alternate with this、uh, yogurt, dividing into three batches. Then add in the yogurt. Last batch of flour. If you find your batter is a bit、uh, too dry, you can add a little bit of milk. You should find a texture like this, very smooth and creamy. Make sure all the flour is folded in. Then we add in the apples, which have already、uh, cooled down. Drop it all in. And if you like、uh, more cinnamon, you can actually add a little bit more. Because this is half a teaspoon, you can bring up to three quarter of a teaspoon. So I have actually mixed up everything. Preheating my oven to 175. Preheat while I assemble the cake. I'm gonna put the cake mixture into all these cups. Start with a big spoon like that. A one and a half spoon. Don't forget the、uh, the cake will、uh, rise. So、don't put too high. Usually, you、uh, make into a big pan, but because of、uh, COVID, we do not want to touch the cake too much. So when I、uh, bring up for friends to eat, I would rather it goes、uh, like one cup, one cup. So make sure you distribute evenly, so that it, it also cooks evenly. So I get about twelve, and I'll be cutting up the apple rings to put on top of. Each cupcakes. It's gonna be in the oven for about forty minutes. The original recipe actually bakes for sixty. That is because they put under one big、uh, round tray. But as I'm dividing into、uh, little cups, then I have to reduce the baking time. So we'll come back in forty minutes time. And we'll just do a test to see whether it cooks through. This is already in the oven for thirty minutes, and you notice this uneven、uh, heating. So I'm going to turn the tray while waiting for the cake to、uh, complete the ten minutes baking. I'm making a glaze. These are the apple jam that I made, apple mango jam. I don't have apricot. Ideally, use apricot, but I don't have, so I'm going to use this apple jam to do the glazing. Instead of、uh, putting in the microwave, I'm going to put in the oven itself. And by the time the cake is ready, the jam is、um, softened. This this should be sufficient. About one big tablespoon. I put the jam in the oven for a while, just to warm it up. And soften the the jam, and then I'm gonna glaze it. Now I'm gonna also test the cake for doneness. I'm using the skewer. The bell has a very ring. We'll close up on the cakes. Wow! So well baked, and I have、uh, tested with the skewer just now. It comes out clean. So I'm gonna remove all these and put on a rag. 
So I'm going to spread the jam <coughs> onto each apple slice. As this is a homemade jam, it doesn't have a lot of shine to it because of the, the sugar that we put is not a lot. So we'll taste it when it cools down slightly. Let me just cut a piece. It's a little slightly hot. It's very moist. It's very soft. It's a kind of a butter cake added with apples. So you see the tiny apple piece there? Let's uh, have a bite. Mm. So nice and soft. And the apple is just the right texture. A bit crunchy. It's a good tea time uh, cake. Mm. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please like, comment, share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the notification bell to help grow my channel if you have not done so. Thank you for watching. Bye. Fun to follow you.